Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God, and this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? A few months ago I did this thing called Disney Hall 1 and it was basically me just showing some of the things that I'd bought, Disney stuff that I'd bought in the previous few months. And I thought I'd do the same thing today and I'll call it Disney Hall 2. Because obviously Christmas happened and, I mean, life happened and I just bought some more Disney stuff and I thought you might be interested to see them. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is this. I don't know how well you can see it but Obviously this is my MacBook and it's got a Snow White little sticker on it which is just so cute. I absolutely love it. And she's like holding the Apple, obviously the Apple logo. I just think it's so cool and it just makes me happy now. I mean I love my MacBook anyway but it just makes me happy that it's a bit Disney-fied. The next thing I want to show you is this t-shirt which I bought from Primark back in early December I think it was. Maybe even November. Yeah it was probably November. Um, yeah, and I just, I really like it. I haven't actually worn it yet. It's still got the tag because it's freezing at the moment in London. But um, I'm really excited to wear it. I love the fact that it's black and white. So it's very, um, it's just classic. Like you can wear with anything. Um, and I just love all the different faces of Mickey on it. So yeah, this was from Primark. I don't know if they still have it or not. I got it in mid-November, I think. The next thing is actually a Christmas present from my friend Rebecca. Um, she got me this awesome Toy Story backpack, which... I just love like look at it I mean Toy Story is my favorite Disney film and I told her before that, that I was considering taking a little backpack to Disneyland Paris from now on because normally I take like a shoulder bag a tiny shoulder bag and I was like you know it might be a better idea to take a backpack because you can put more stuff in it and it's still like not annoying because you can just like have it on your back so she got me this and it's just perfect and I'm probably going to take it with me to Disneyland Paris next month. Speaking of Christmas presents, one of the Disney things that my friend Lisa got me for Christmas was this thing, which <laughs> I don't even know. It's Elsa. I don't know how well you can see. She actually looks really nice, considering it's like a sweet thing and like a fan, but yep. Yeah. And it kind of makes sense because like Elsa and the cold, like the cold doesn't bother her, so yeah she's like giving me some of her coolness but um yeah there's some sweets in this as well i haven't actually eaten them but uh, i just thought it was really fun so you guys all know that i collect tsum tsums my life has been overtaken by tsum tsums at the moment like i've got so many and every tuesday every first tuesday of a new month they release new tsum tsums which is a problem because i spend a lot of money there <laughs> but yeah just buying them um and this month as in january's was the lion king and they all looked so cute i wanted them all um and i got them all <laughs> and they're just they are genuinely very cute so i thought i'd show you them all one by one this is mufasa first one i just randomly picked up yep there you go ah he's just he's cute the details on them are great and he's just, he's absolutely cute. Like, I love the fluff on his hair and his ears and, and his little tail. And he's just so soft. Um, next one I want to show you is probably, it should be Simba. I mean, you go from Mufasa to Simba. Um, this is Simba. Again, he looks so freaking cute. Like, he's got this little hair on the top. And he just looks exactly like Simba from the film. Again, the tail here. Very, very soft. I love him. Then we've got Timon. Let me show you him. Timon just looks hilarious. Ooh. Um, again, his hair is just like, what's going on? It's got a bit crazy. Um, he's got a little, like, very tiny tail here going on. Um, and this is the thing of it. Very cute again. With Timon, I need to show you Pumbaa, of course. Um, I think this is actually one of my favourites because it really, really looks like Pumbaa. I mean, they all do, but, like, this one in particular, just look at him. Like, very, very... Pumbae. I don't know. I like him. Um, then we've got Zazu. Probably one of the funniest characters in Disney history. There you go. That's Zazu. Again, I think he looks brilliant. <laughs> Very funny. His face just makes me lol. Like, look at his, like, little um, feet, I guess. That's not what they call this. I don't know. Um, and the tail over here. Great. Then we've got the wonderful Rafiki. Love him. He's just, yeah. Also, interesting fact for you, because obviously I just said love him, and obviously that's because Rafiki is a guy in the film. However, if you've seen Lion King the musical, you would have probably noticed that the person playing Rafiki in the show, 
stage version is a woman. So Rafiki in the musical production of Night Lion King is played by a woman and it's a woman. She's a woman, not a man, which was interesting. I actually read up about it and it's, I think it was because when they made Lion King the stage show, they realised they didn't have enough um, female like characters in there and it was just like very much male dominated. So they thought it might be cool to make Rafiki a woman and it works so well because Rafiki in the show is absolutely brilliant. Anyway, carrying on, we've got Nala here who is obviously Simba's best friend and also lover. Spoiler, stars, you're, you've all seen The Lion King. But yeah, she looks great. I love her green eyes and the expression on her face. And also again, she's got a tail here, tiny little legs here. Love her. Then we get to, I think it's Ed, yeah. One of the um, hyenas, but this one's Ed. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, at first when it was released, I was like, I, you know, I didn't understand why they only released Ed. But I guess Ed is in a way the most popular of the three hyenas um, and it would have been a bit stupid to just like have all three of them because they all look pretty much the same and it would have looked very similar in Tsum Tsum form but I, I love Ed's expression because like he just looks so crazy with like one eye on top and one on the bottom I don't know I just I for some bizarre reason oh, also look he's got a tongue here I didn't even realize his tongue sticking out that's cute, and he's got a tail. But um, yeah, I, I really like the hyenas in the Lion King. I don't know why, I know they're very evil, but there's something about them that I just, I've always liked. Like, I used to be a bit scared of them when I was younger, but I don't know, they're just so funny and, and stupid and somehow weirdly likeable. <laughs> okay, the last tomb that I want to show you is, of course, the man himself, Scar. And he looks great. I love the fur around him. Um, and his expression, again, looking incredibly angry. Uh, probably one of the best and worst villains in the history best as in his like amazing but also worse because of what he actually does like yeah he's great though i love him anyway back in like november of last year um i was buying a lot of different bits and bobs from the disney store i think there was like a massive discount going on in the disney store like 50 percent, 70 percent off even i don't know somehow there was this thing that was like made things quite cheap and so i was like i went on a Disney online shopping spree just because I wanted to make the most of the discount and I found this and I loved it so much that I would have bought it anyway even if it wasn't on like discounted and this is it it's a Chippendale like makeup bag <laughs> so freaking cute like look at it it's even got their tails at the back actual tails they're like gentle. they're fluffy and like soft like Oh my god, this is perfect. Um, look at their faces though, that's Chip and Dale. And it's quite big, so it's like a nice size. It's not very big, but it's a nice size. I think it's like a good enough size for me to be able to put my stuff in to go to like Disneyland Paris or just like travelling and stuff. Again, I have not used it yet. You can see there's like stuff in it. But I'm excited to use it for sure. As you guys probably know, I absolutely love jigsaw puzzles. Um, I've got so many of them and I, you know, I've just, I just grew up making them constantly. A lot of people kind of made puzzles as a child and then they, they stopped doing them. But I've just, I've continued to like making them. Uh, it's like, a, it's one of my hobbies basically. And when I found this, um, I was like, oh my god, I need to have this. It's a Tsum Tsum puzzle. I'm pretty sure it's from Japan. I got it from eBay. And yeah, it's just amazing it's so cute it's still in its plastic wrapping i haven't taken it off yet um but i can't wait to make this and what made me happy is that it's a thousand pieces i don't know if you can see or not because i know it sounds maybe a bit stupid but i genuinely can't make puzzles that are less than a thousand pieces because i find them too boring like i find them too easy i get i make them in like an hour and then i, I don't like that i want i want them to be a bit challenging at least a little bit so I can spend my time doing them. I just like procrastinating, you know? So the bigger the puzzle, the better, because I can spend longer on them and stuff. So yeah, I literally cannot wait to make this. And of course, when I do make it, I'll probably post a tweet or an Instagram post or something. So you should follow me on both so you can find out how it looks like when it's made. Now, if you watch my Vlogmas videos, you might have seen this already because I showed them in quite a few of my vlogs. But this little thing over here, it's not even that little. It's probably one of my favourite things I've ever bought in my life, and that's saying a lot. Um, this is Minnie, basically, as you can obviously see, everyone knows Minnie. And she's wearing a Chippendale, like, pyjama top. What? This is insane. This is like, I love Chippendale, you know this. Chippendale are two of my favourite characters, I love them. And Minnie, obviously, everyone loves, I love her as well, she's amazing. And it's just so Christmassy, like, it was one of the Christmas, um, 
Disney kind of plushes that were that were out. And it's from the Disney store. And she's wearing like slippers. And I love her pajama top, like bottoms as well. They're just so Christmassy and wintry. Like not necessarily Christmassy, but just very wintry. But I, the, the best thing is her her top. But also, look at this, guys. It's got my name on it. It's personalised. Like oh, I love it so much. I've been sleeping with her every night since November when I got her. Like she's just amazing. She's so soft and she literally feels like I don't know. She's like she's she feels like she's made to be on my bed because yeah. She's wearing pyjamas, she, she needs to be sleeping with me, guys. The next thing I want to show you, um, I actually saw in um, Sean's video, Christmas haul, um, Sean Land, uh, who makes videos as well, I'll put his link down below, he's great. Um, and this is it, it's a Disney calendar. Um, I didn't even know these things existed. Like, I'd seen these designs on puzzles before, because I search for puzzles all the time. But um, <laughs> I'd never, you know, seen them on a calendar, and I was like, I need this. Because it's amazing and I didn't have a calendar for 2016. Yeah, that's the year we're on. Well done, Sam. And yeah, it was just too pretty to not buy. I haven't actually opened it yet because I'm lazy. But these are some of the designs from some of the months on the back. I don't know how well you can see them. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to go through the pictures. And it's something that I'll probably keep. Even like when the year finishes, I'll keep it. Because the pictures look absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. And the last thing I want to show you in this Disney haul is this called the Disney book. Now this was actually recommended to me by my friend Ellie, Ellie Stedman, you all know her. And you know, since I got it, and I got it pretty much just after Christmas, um, I've pretty much read half of it, most of it, yeah. Uh, probably not actually half of it, maybe more like one third of it. I don't know, I've actually got a bookmark here. Let me show you my bookmark because the bookmark itself should probably be a part of this haul even though I got my bookmark like ages ago. But um, this is where I'm at in the book, and this is my book bookmark. Obviously, of course, it has to be Woody. Um, I've actually had this bookmark for like few, I don't know, maybe two, three years. But um, yeah, the book is excellent. Like I, I definitely recommend it as well. I haven't finished it yet. I cannot wait to finish it. But I've already like just reading. Like let me just see what page I was on. I've read 66 pages of the book so far, and I've already learned so much about. Disney stuff like Disney films, how things started, Walt Disney himself. It's just so fascinating, very, very interesting. And also, it's not like just words, obviously, there's pictures as well. Because, like, um, I started reading Walt Disney's biography a couple of years ago and I got to like page, I don't know, 100, but I never finished it. And I really want to, I will probably go back and finish it one day. But this, like, gives you a bit of an insight into his life and also every Disney film, pretty much. I mean, not probably not every Disney film, but a lot of them. And, you know, it's it's a lot more. Um, it's easier to read because you can just kind of read a page or two a night and then you're done You don't have to like worry about yeah because of the pictures it just makes it a lot more exciting And I mean I'll just show you some of the pages from it because like this is from like Fantasia obviously and Just just so much detail and information about it. I mean again we've got Pinocchio here look They've got like pictures of like merchandise. It's basically very much Disney. It's not just about the films of Disney. It's not just about Walt Disney. It's about everything Disney. So it's got information about when like, I don't know, different merchandise came out for different films, how Mickey, etc., developed into how they are now. Um, I mean, so far, again, this is all I've read, but okay, I think at one point it goes into the parks as well. Details about how the parks opened um, one by one. Um, I mean, like, this is how it starts. It's like the first page of it. It's like a timeline of like films and all the important key events that happened that have to do with them um, Disney and um It's such a good book. Honestly, definitely get it. Also, the book includes an original film strip from Disney slash Pixar's Brave Which you can see here. I don't think I actually opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it here. It's here It's on the first page. Um, I'll open it with you because I love you guys. Ah, this is it. I, obviously, I don't know how well you can see it. Like, you probably cannot see it at all. But that's the original film strip here. You can't see it. Sorry, guys. But that's amazing. You know, it's a limited edition thing, so that could be a very cool thing to keep for a long time. But yeah, guys, that is it. This was my Disney haul number two. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any of these things 
or if you want any of these things. I am going back to Disneyland Paris in February. I'll be there on the 15th and 16th of February. So if any of you are there, feel free to come and say hi and stuff if you've seen me around the parks because that would make my day. Like it was just experiencing Disney with other Disney fans is always the best thing. And yeah, I just can't wait for more Disney magic stuff in my life in the future. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.